All right, Virgo, now you have intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later. Okay, what's going on? You're seeing some red flags in January. Okay, got the King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is the second, third time now the Two of Wands is coming up. Okay. Oh, and here's the Page of Swords. So you got somebody who's stalking you. <laughs> and you know it. Your intuition is telling you. And it's like, what the hell are they doing that for? What do they want? Okay. This person could be watching from afar. They could be on the other side of the world. Um, but they're very curious about you. They're very interested in knowing, first of all, what your decision is going to be. I just heard that. Um, they may be asking you something. Hmm. Or they're asking around about you, this air sign. Asking around about you or spying or creeping. Trying to get information on you about what you're going to do next. I'm just hearing. And that's kind of, they're doing a little intel. They could be police. Or a lawyer. Okay. Or they're like, they're, it's very cold. It's a very cold energy. Like I have the chills when I look at this King of Swords with all that blue. They... They come across as very warm. They wear a coat of warmness and tender heartedness, but underneath they're cold as ice. Right? So there's a little bit of manipulation coming from this, this king of swords, this person. Um, hmm. Somebody's trying to get information on you about what your next steps are going to be. Okay. Hmm. And they're being paid. They're being paid. Or they're paying someone to get information on you. Something must have ended. Or well, there's a sense of betrayal. They feel betrayed. I feel like somebody's hiring like an investigator or someone to find out either what you're doing with your money or um, to, to, to why? Like to see what your, what your plans are. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. The Empress. To try to find out if you're pregnant. Ugh. Lord, I'm so happy those days are over. But it could also be um, there's a connection to a mother figure. There's a connection to um, an ex spouse or a family member um that like has kids it's like a female a mother yeah somebody's like doing some intel on you find out what's going on um you you're in you're you're involved in something in january that um either that has some kind of connection either to a gemini libra or an aquarius and um, don't be surprised. Like, okay, Virgo. Wow, interesting messages here. The Seven of Wands. So someone's in like their defense mode. They're not trying to get found out. Okay, they're not trying to get found out. So they're kind of like pushing back. Like it's a little sneaky. There's, that's the red flag. It's, it's a little sneaky. Okay, let me see. Why do they want this information, though? That's the question. Why does this person want, like, why are they, why are they spying? What are they doing? Oh, the lovers. Okay, it's surrounding a, a partnership. It's surrounding a marriage. It's surrounding a deep, deep partnership. A loving, a love partnership, a love relationship. <clears throat> They're trying to get find out if you're in a relationship with someone else, or if you are 
still interested in them or like no mostly if you're if you're sleeping with someone else <laughs> Or if you have a connection with someone else, okay? that That's strongly what I feel there because of the lovers. And if you're making a decision to go with somebody else, okay, creep factor 10 here. All right, Sagittarius, Gemini again. Okay, yeah, they're trying to find out if you've met your, your soulmate, if you've met your person. Like, what's it their business? Like, is there, there's gossip? as well what's it their damn business if they're an ex oh okay they have a lot of regret Ooh, must be somebody that you were connected to before virgo this person is like feeling a heavy loss they lost you to someone else and they're trying to find out gosh i need a drink they're trying to find out it, like water y'all they're trying to find out if um <sighs> this person's like busted up nine of wands wounded warrior if you're if you moved on are you moving on with somebody else jeez wow virgo so i don't know like how are they going to be spying first of all i feel like they're going to be talking to other people or there's going to be um i swear if the world comes out it's going to be on the internet i will tell you that looking you up on the internet Pisces energy, the hangman, knight of wands. Well, the wheel of fortune. We got a circle here. Mm -mm -mm. They're trying to find out if you're like happy, if you've like hit the jackpot with another person, if or if it's just a physical fling. Yeah, if you're content, they're trying to like peak, they're peaking. But Virgo, I don't feel like this person's actually going to do anything. They're not going to approach you. And because they get that defensive, that seven of wands. So they're pushing back. Like if anybody were to approach or they could find out, they're going to push back on that. This person is not going to approach you and ask you or let it be known that they're watching to see if you've like what, like what you're doing. They're... Again, trying to gather this intel. But why? Right? Because there's regret, remorse. There's pain. Ugh. They feel like they lost you. They're missing you. Okay. Well, you know. I don't know what happened here, Virgo. But I feel like you kind of know. Yeah, you walked away from something. You did. Whether it's temporary or whether it was for good... You walked away from something here with someone and they're trying to this person thinks you left them to be with somebody else now maybe you did maybe you didn't you might have just left because it wasn't working out whatever the reason doesn't matter but i feel like this person thinks that you left or you're not with them anymore because you're out like it's very egotistical in a lot of ways that someone would think and i'm speaking to the ladies generally a woman doesn't generally leave a man um for another guy if her guy's treating her like a queen do you know what i mean like it's just not a, a normal natural thing for women and yes i'm speaking to women <laughs> yes it's not a normal, natural thing, unless there's some kind of an affliction within her, some trauma or something like that, that she would do that. But a, 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 a healthy woman, if she's being treated well, she will treat, if, if she's being treated like a queen, she will treat her man like a king. <clears throat> okay? So however you want to specify your gender, that's up to you. But if she's not being treated like a queen, and I'm not talking about like... <laughs> diamonds and furs i'm not talking about that i just mean with respect loyalty sincerity um and and just kindness and love and support if she's not getting that um she'll still try to give it to the guy that she's with but then she'll sense that things are turning very toxic because it's just not a two-way street there now it's one way 
and she will generally um, just make a decision, you know what, I can do this all on my own and just go off on her own and, and level up and make herself available later for someone that will treat her well, right? That's generally the gist of how women work. Um, and I'm not going to speak for men because I'm not a male, but I've heard that men will sometimes just run to the next pair of heels because that's how they deal with their stuff. But I can't confirm that. If you're a guy listening, you can confirm it if you like. But a healthy man, I don't think does that. I think a healthy man's like, oh, okay, well, you know, things didn't work out here. I'm not really getting my needs met and I'm not going to run to the next pair of heels. I'm going to sit with myself for a while, go hang out with my guys, <laughs> you know, and do the things that guys do. You know, that's what I hear. So I feel like you must have left this person thinks you left to run into somebody else like because they're com they're being competitive perhaps um and you know maybe you did maybe you went into the arms of somebody else because they were treating you better and that doesn't necessarily make you toxic it may just be you know something that like you were just like oh wait a minute hold up <laughs> this one over here is not giving me any trauma this one over here is treating me like gold <laughs> This one over here has been sticking around the whole time I've been dealing with a bad situation and they've been supportive and loving and treating me like a queen. And, you know, so I don't know specifically what your situation is, but whoever this person is, yeah, they're regretting. They're having a lot of regret. Yep. Okay. Maybe they cheated. Queen of Wands. They could have messed around. Um... And, you know, people who cheat generally accuse others of cheating. That, that's just the way it works. Because um, people who don't cheat would never think that <laughs> naturally. They would just be like, what's going on? You know, so um, there's Queen of Wands here. So for some of you, you could be on the cusp of Leo Virgo. Or you have fire in your chart pretty strongly somewhere. But I feel like for you, Virgo, with this reading, I don't care about their red flags. I don't care if they're spying on me. I'll give them a movie. I don't care. I'm going to live my life the best I can. And and if somebody comes along and that person is, this new person is going to you know treat me well and treat me better, I don't care if my ex has a problem with that. They had their opportunity to do that and they squandered it. So if they squander it, the onus is on them. They got to deal with it. But spying and trying to gain intel on you is not the way to do it. No, that's, that's just, you're still doing the same shit you did before. That's all that is, right? So Virgo, I feel like, <laughs> this reading, I can't, you guys. I feel like for you, um, there you go, Leo Virgo, energy there for somebody. But I feel like for you, um, you're embracing that a part of you. Um, that's taking bold action. You're embracing this, or you will be, at least in January. It's taking this bright, sunny, positive, you know, flipping the, the switch, flipping the script, and doing what's best for you here, whatever it is, or you've already done that, okay? And with this person, you know, maybe you found out that there was something going on, or that there was like, you know, some mischievous behavior going on. You might have, and just said, you know, that's not for me. Let them have it. Go ahead, do your thing. If you regret, that's on you. That's your loss. I don't feel like you're really, um, <laughs> you know, masculine or feminine, whatever you are. I don't feel like you're really sorting, trying to sort out some kind of mess. You're just kind of like, hmm, let me see if I have enough money to get my hair done tomorrow. That's really what I need to look at. <laughs> so your energy is pretty much like, yeah, you're, trust your intuition, Virgo. If something's been telling you that you've got somebody or you you have a hunch or a sense um, that somebody's kind of keeping tabs on you, I'm confirming it. Just for you is all I'm doing. Just confirming it. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life.